Hey, I'm Bailey. And I'm Camille. And this is MTV. First, we have Nick with some cars to learn about in 2018. Hey guys, it's Nick, and it's a new year, which means new cars, and this isn't gonna work. I just need someone to co-host this segment. Hey Somebody need a co-host? Dylan, where have you been? Meditating. We haven't seen you since... Shh. We have a segment to do. Hey guys, I'm the MHS champ Dylan. It's your favorite cameraman, Nick. And we're here to tell you about some cars that you should look out for in 2018. Me and Nick are gonna start off this segment with some of our personal picks for this list. My personal pick is the Corvette ZR1 and the rumored mid-engined uh, Zora. And my personal pick is the recently teased at the Detroit Auto Show Shelby GT500. To kick off our official picks, the cult favorite Subaru WRX, which will be interesting to see what they do because the Evo is now discontinued. And then the next one on the list is the Lamborghini Urus, which is Lamborghini's uh, latest attempt at an SUV since the LMW02 from the 80s. For our third pick, it's the Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. Just look at it. Wherever it is. Somewhere. And uh, my other pick is the uh, 2018 Kia Stinger, which is pretty interesting because Kia is kind of boring and they're making a pretty cool car, so why the heck not? Next, we have the car that Toyota and BMW are rumored to have been working on together, the Toyota Supra. And if you don't know what that is, shame on you. My next pick is the McLaren 720S. It's quite extraordinary. And for those of you with expensive taste, we got the Bentley Continental Super Sport. Yep, that's it. Until next time, I'm your favorite cameraman, Nick. There won't be next time. <laughs> I'm Dylan, the MHS champion. Thanks guys, those cards really were impressive. Now we have Ho Sway with the end of the mini term reminders. Hey guys, it's Osway. Yesterday was the last day of the mini tour, so you make sure you get all your missing work in and get 80% or above to get credit. Monday is the start of a new semester in a new mini tour. You might be getting a new schedule, so you make sure you check them out first thing in the morning. You only have two days, Monday and Tuesday, to change your schedule too. This week, you might notice a new quick start student. They will be full time on Monday, so make sure you make them feel welcome. Thanks, Osway. So, Bailey, I heard you're working on something new. Yeah, I interviewed three of our teachers as a part of our new teacher feature. Here it is. Hello, I'm Bailey with some of your favorite teachers. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for about a year. How about at Mountain High? Same. Oh, <laughs> nice. This is my 11th year, long time, but I've been learning for many more years. 10 years. How about at Mountain High? So I've been at Mountain High for 10 years as well. However, the first year I taught, I was half time at West Point Junior High. I taught study skills and health there. And then the other half of the time I was here at Mountain High. So I taught at both schools every day. What made you want to become a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher because I've had a lot of in teachers influence me for good in my life and I just thought it would be a nice change to try and I really enjoy it. Um, I always liked the idea of working with youth. Um, I, taught, I taught English actually in two year, for two years um, overseas and uh, I did it as a volunteer thing. Um, and I loved, I loved seeing, I loved the interaction of helping people learn something they want to learn. 
Um, so for me, that's that was something that I always thought would be a really fun career and, and fulfilling. So uh, yeah, and it, and it has been. Well, a few things made me want to become a teacher. My mom was a teacher and a principal, so I spent a lot of summers in her classrooms helping her prepare for the next school year. And um, I've always loved school and I've always loved learning and I'm, I'm a huge supporter of education, so that's what made me want to become a teacher. What's your biggest accomplishment so far at Mountain? My students all passed the state skills exam at a 100% passing rate. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> um, I would say teaching Skylar Perry how to use his camera correctly for your book. That's kind of a hard, a difficult question for me. Um, but I think my biggest accomplishment is when my students succeed, I love to see them grow and develop and conquer their fears. Um, and graduation is huge for our students. So I think my biggest accomplishment is just playing a teeny tiny small part in their success here at Mountain High. The FCCLA stopped by MTV to talk about their new service project. So, time out. Actually, FCCLA is so busy that they did not have a chance to come see us this week. They are working on a service project, and in the service project, they're creating blessing bags. Uh, these are to help people who are homeless or maybe in transition from one place to another. Uh, perhaps you've heard about it. Perhaps you've already talked to your advisory teacher about it. Maybe your advisory is even collecting things already. Uh, they would really love our help collecting specific items, loose change, maybe help uh, assembling the blessing bags. So if you get a chance, check in with Paula, see what you can do and contribute if you can. Thanks everybody. Talk with your advisory teacher and contribute if you can. Now we have Brandon, our editor, with some behind the scenes on MTV. As, yeah, there you go. Now it's recording. Yeah. Now I don't want to do it. <laughs> Actually, for your car sake, though, I, you can look better, probably. All right, scoop. We need like hazard lights. Stay over there with the right cross. Hey, hey, stop. Shut up, Scooter. <laughs> you all. We have three hours of footage left, so whatever. Ah! Guys, come on. We've got like four We're minutes good. left of class. Uh, I could do it. And other people. I could do it at two. Okay, well, wait, shut up and let's show me. Okay, let's do it. Bruh, you have no idea how funny this looks. You ready? No, I need a card. Oh. You know you're zooming out. I'm fine. Do you want to put water in it? <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Let's get them already. As you guys know, you've seen all our faces here on MTV, but this is actually our four last episode. So it's been fun and hope to, that you guys like the new faces you see next mini turn. That's it for our show, guys. <laughs>